the Arrow series has finally ended and the finale was amazing. So today it's time for me to stop and review Arrow Season 8. Hey everyone, S Dub Nation here. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll post some more Arrowverse rankings or reviews. Please note that everything that I say in this video is just my very own opinion. So without further ado, let's get into the review. Oliver Queen, man who channels his hubris and anger and calls it strength. I've seen your future, Oliver. Inexorable and unavoidable. I have watched you die. Living. It's not for the weak. You can survive this. Make it home. Make it better. Everything about you just became so unbelievably clear. You need someone to remind you who you are. Are you the man in this picture? Crisis is imminent. Someone is coming. Someone far, far more powerful than myself. Years on a deserted island and you came back a vigilante? Seems a little far-fetched. Just one more thing I gotta do. Arrow Season 8. Arrow Season 8 to me was amazing. The first seven episodes were fantastic in my opinion. And I felt like those first seven episodes were better than the last three episodes. What Arrow did so well was that it was grounded in reality. It was a grounded, gritty, dark superhero show. And that's what it has maintained over all of these years. And I felt like... Season 8 concluded this series great. I felt like Season 8 was a great conclusion because in each episode of Season 8, it was a season respectively. So Episode 1 in Season 8 was all about Tommy Merlin, him being the Dark Archer, and him trying to do the undertaking again. Whereas in Season 1, it was Tom, it was Malcolm Merlin, that was the Dark Archer, and he was trying to start the undertaking. So each episode in this season is it's each season respectively. And I felt like that was great. It took me on this nostalgic, emotional feel, mainly because I just got into Arrow. I got into Arrow two months ago, and it sold me on the best Arrowverse show ever because... Oliver Queen is such a captivating character. Stephen Amell plays Oliver Queen so well. But it's, it's not a conclusion for Oliver Queen. And we've already had a conclusion for Oliver Queen. Season 7 was the conclusion for Oliver Queen, in my opinion. And that's where a lot of people get that Season 7 was the primitive conclusion to Arrow. I feel like that's false because Arrow... And Oliver Queen, yes, they're the same person, but they're also different at the same time. Oliver Queen story arc ended in season seven. 
Whereas he saved the city throughout all seven seasons. That was his main goal. To save his city. So once he's done that. He moves his family out of the city. And starts a family basically. He's a family man. He's retired as the Green Arrow. Until the Monitor brings him back. With that bargain that they made in Elseworlds. So the Monitor comes back for Oliver Queen and the Green Arrow. So that's what Season 8 is. Season 8 is Green Arrow's final final episodes, basically. And that's what Season 8 is. Season 8 is constructed to be a teaser for Crisis on Infinite Earth. So it would not make sense for Oliver Queen to leave in Season 7, be gone for a whole year, and then to come back and in Crisis and act like nothing has changed a lot of people will ask questions like where has Oliver been this whole time what has he been doing did he meet up with Felicity again did he see Mia what is going on season 8 explains that season 8 explains what he has been doing before leading up to crisis and I felt like they did that perfectly well like I said the first seven episodes are so great but season as a whole is such a departure from what we signed up for as fans. As fans, we signed up for a dark and gritty superhero show that was staged and set in a reality in a real world. Whereas a guy just puts on a hood and calls himself a superhero and we believe him. And he's, he's trying to save his city. So what Arrow was, was that it was, like I said before, dark and gritty and grounded in reality. Season 8 is a departure from that, just like how Season 4 was a departure from that. But Season 8 is a little bit grounded, but not a lot, because they have a lot of cosmic beings and godly, earthly things put inside of this season. And like I said before, it's a teaser leading up to Crisis, and that's what they're, they're sacrificing there. They're trying to get a teaser leading up to Crisis. I felt like they executed it very well, but adding in all of these these mystical point of views and, and magical things, I I just felt like it, it brought me back to season four again. And I did not like season four. Yeah, the first episode of season four was okay, but I did not like season four as a season. And you don't want to do that. With someone like me hating season 4. And you're bringing back magical things from season 4. I I did not like that part of season 8. But like I said, overall, season 8 is a fantastic, amazing season. But going into those last three episodes. Crisis on Infinite Earths Part 4. Oliver Queen dies after he died. The first time in the first part. And I felt like they they didn't do his death very well in the first part. And that's where Stephen Amell was kind of irritated at. Was because they didn't, they didn't treat Green Arrow right in Crisis on Infinite Earths. He was barely on the posters. And it was just a sacrifice to put Batwoman and Supergirl up in the front. And... Batwoman didn't do anything the whole crossover, and Supergirl barely did anything to crossover. So, I felt like Green Arrow was kind of pushed to the back for Crisis on Infinite Earth. So, he really didn't need to be there. They just wanted to put him in here because, yes, this is Stephen Amell's last crossover. So, why not have Oliver Queen die in this? But, moving on to Episode 9, Green Arrow and the Canaries is basically a backdoor pilot to that show. And, I honestly think that... The show should not get a full 23 seasons. I honestly think that it should get at least 10 episodes. A 10, a 10 week long season, I would take that for Green Arrow and the Canaries. But the episode as a whole, I think was the worst out of season 8 in general. And then leading into the series finale, Oliver Queen is not in there except for a couple flashbacks and in the afterlife. I felt like that was kind of wrong too because this is Stephen Amell's last episode as the Green Arrow. We should have him be on screen in almost every scene. 
we should have had a one shot documentary on the Green Arrow. And I felt like that would have been so much better. Having a one shot, a one singular take following Oliver Queen throughout all of his adventures. And him accepting his fate to die in crisis. I felt like that would have been a better conclusion. And then seeing, and then we flash forward to 2040 and then see Felicity in the afterlife with Oliver Queen. That would have been a better conclusion to Arrow as a whole. I'm not saying that I'm not satisfied with the conclusion that we got last night. I'm saying it could have been better. It was amazing, but it could have been better. And this is not Prime Arrowverse that I've grown to know and love. Prime Arrowverse is Season 1 and Season 2. But Season 8 is such a departure from those two seasons. It's not... Is not as rewatchable as you would like. Those first seven episodes are, but if we're talking about the whole season as a whole, it's not, it's not a rewatchable season. And I feel like if you're an Arrow fan, you would definitely enjoy this season because it, it pulled out all the right emotional notes for me and nostalgic notes. And I just got into the series two, two to three months ago, so. Arrow season eight was a great, a great season. It was a great end to this. It was a great end to Green Arrow as a character, whereas Oliver Queen was already ended in season seven. But mainly, those are just my minor nitpicks on this season. Overall, season eight is amazing, like I said before. So tell me what you thought about season eight down in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. And stay tuned for an Arrow season ranking. I was gonna, I'm gonna do a Arrow season ranking from Arrow season one to Arrow season eight, and I'm gonna put that out tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. So, like I said before, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.